This software is called Tractor and it's made by Native Instruments. This software is very popular amongst a lot of DJs because a lot of controllers are compatible with this software. So as you can see it's a very well laid out program. Right now I have it set up as a two deck layout but you can also set it up as a four deck layout. You'll also notice at first glance that there's no platters on deck A or B like there is in Serato DJ or Virtual DJ. Therefore, if you want to do scratching or ease of beat matching, you should hook up a controller to the software in order to do that. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time with the software, but I will go over a few things here to show you some of the features of the software. Above both deck A and B, you can select a number of effects. So there is a box where you can have three loaded at once. Right now, it says no effect in all three of these. And to the right, there's three knobs that are grayed out, they're inactive because all these say no effect. So if I click on the arrow beside each one of these three boxes, you'll see the exact same effects list come up. So if I go back to the first box and I select reverb, then the first knob is available for reverb and I could turn the knob uh, and set my volume for that particular reverb effect. The reverb effect is only going to take effect if I have this on button eliminated like this. If I click on that, I could click it off, click it on. And if you turn the knob, you'll see the light, the lighting on the edge of the knob increases and decreases, which will help you at first glance know exactly where the knob is set to. In the middle section, I don't know a lot about these features because I just haven't used the software enough. So you'll have to try it out for yourself and see if there's features there that's gonna be suitable to your needs. Ad above deck B, the same effects that you can select and if I go to the top right corner there's a magnifying glass that if I click on that it will shrink down the decks and bring up the song list and if I click on it again it'll bring the screen back to normal. If I click on the second button it'll bring up your settings box. So this is all the software settings that you can make uh, for the layout and the controller in this box uh, depending on what your needs are for the use of the software. If I click on the third button, nothing happens. Again, it must be a feature I'm not particularly familiar with at the present time. And the fourth one is just basically for minimizing and maximizing the software on your uh, computer screen. So right now I do have a song loaded into Deck A. At the top of the Deck A box, I have the song listed, the song title and the group name underneath that and to the right I have the time remaining and the total time of the song. To the right of the times I have the beats per minute listed which right now it's listed at 130.29. This is your main waveform window and underneath is your full song waveform. So at first glance this will tell you exactly the high and low points of the song. Below that will be the uh, looping amounts that you can set to and below that is the key points so you can also set as well 1 through 4 and 5 through 8. So if I put the song on play you won't actually hear the song right now because it is copyrighted so I don't want to have the sound on but you will see the waveform going and you will see the LEDs on the channel fader go up and down as well. Beside deck A on the right hand side is the pitch fader. So if I go this way or this way, you'll also see a light in the middle go up or down. And that will also help you at first glance quickly know exactly where the fader is. If I click on the minus or plus sign here, it will do the same thing. It will bring the pitch fader up or down. So deck B is going to be laid out exactly the same as deck A. Again, your pitch fader on the right hand side of deck B. In the middle, you'll see your channel faders, your channel fader for deck A, your channel fader for deck B, and your equalizer knobs, so your low, medium, and high. Again, if you turn the knobs, you'll see the edge lighting on the knobs. Uh, change and that will help you at first glance as well quickly know exactly where the knobs are set to. Below the channel faders is your cross fader and again as you bring the channel fader one way or another you'll see the line in the middle light up so it 
quick glance you'll know exactly where the channel fader is set to. The bottom of the screen is your song listing and so you have the columns of the number of the song, the cover art, the title, the artist, the release, the beats per minute, the rating, the import date, the comment, and the genre of the music. So you can have as many columns uh, set here as you want uh, depending on what your needs are. You could just have the title and artist or you can have the title and comment or uh, whatever going to suit your needs listed here. Uh, above these are like quick links so you have history, your track collection, uh, your samples, all your tracks, all your remix sets and then there's other points that you can set in here, your demo tracks, your demo mixes, etc. etc. On the left hand side is all your folders depending on which folder you're in you can see like for example you can see all your genres in this one so if you double click it it will show you all your genres in here so as I said uh, I've only used this program a couple times but I've been very happy with, with its functionality uh, you should download a trial version and try it out first and see if it has the features that are going to be suitable to you